Hi there. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to use WP Job Manager plugin to set up job board on your WordPress. Now, first thing to do, go to the plugins tab on left hand sidebar, click on add new. Now in search box, type in WP job manager and hit enter now here you see WP job manager plugin there are also extensions for this plugin so for now ignore that and click on WP job manager plugin Okay, now you can activate the plugin. Okay, now this will ask you to go through setup. So first step is this wizard where we have to continue page setup or you can say skip setup I will set up the plugin manually I suggest you to go through this wizard click on continue to step page setup here you will be given options such as post a job job dashboard and jobs you will be presented with short codes which you can place on your page so you can basically copy them, submit job form, okay, you can get them on notepad and I'm going to paste it here. Okay, now the next thing you have to tell the plugin to create these selected pages okay now everything's done you can change some settings of these also you can add the job and add the job via front end and view the listings and finally view the dashboard so first step you can go through add job via backend so we'll take a look at that So let's add something like UX designer. Okay, now you can select the type of job it is freelance, full time, internship, part time, or temporary. I'm going to go with part-time I will also check some other data such as location I'm going to add Sydney then company automata okay, you can add company video you can click on feature listing if you want also give company website Twitter and position field if you want to close the job you can also set expiry date I'm going to set it as 26 you can add custom fields to this okay so this is your add job listing page you can publish it by clicking on publish button. Now you can click on view and it should show you job listing on your WordPress page. So this is the position, UX designer, company name, description and button for apply for job. 
okay it also specifies part-time freelance full-time or temporary and gives location here with Google map you can also point it as well okay now let's take a look at how to add job type here okay by default you can see it has freelance full-time internship part-time temporary and also consulting so they should add that within your list of job type okay and then there are add-ons and settings within your job listings options so click on settings and here you see listings per page default is 10 which is okay then fill position you can hide those positions then expired listing you can hide content within expired listing and then categories enable categories for listing you can multi select categories so by default the options which are unchecked should remain that way if you want or you can enable them so when we want job to be submitted from front end then you can specify if account is required allow your account creation process also username then role as employer so if it's employer then we have to manually list those jobs then moderate new listing then that means no random person can create jobs or spam posts on your blog then allow pending edits set it to uncheck then listing duration maximum 30 days you can extend it if you want then application method email address or website URL. keep these changes as is by default it is safe enough then you have pages you have page for submit job from form page post to job page then dashboard page okay and then job listing page in jobs so take, let's take a look at those pages you can go to pages tab in your left hand sidebar click on all pages and here you can check job dashboard there will be one job only as of now so this is how your dashboard will look the more entries that you add the more jobs will be on this page so it shows you title field date posted and listing expires okay so you can add additional job from add job page you can go to jobs click on view and see individual jobs on this page okay you can search for them you can uncheck some and it will filter the jobs accordingly okay so the next page left is post to job this is from front end so anyone with account can post job on your blog okay, it says your account you are currently signed in as my name you can sign out and sign up with new name job title location job type description then your email company details website tagline video twitter username and logo and then you can preview so there are two ways to add jobs one from your wordpress dashboard then job listing add new job and second from front end post a job page so depending on how you want users to post a job on your blog or website the methods will differ okay now one more thing left is add-ons so let's take a look at that so there are paid add-ons that allow you to get most out of this plugin one add-on is application then wc paid listing this is handy if you want 
companies to pay you for listing their jobs on your website. Then you have resume manager, which adds resume submission from your front end job, post a job page. Okay, then you can also apply with Facebook. So the data from Facebook gets copied within the application. Then apply with Zing, same like Facebook. Then you have bookmarks for candidates to bookmark jobs, then job alerts for candidates, then zip recruiter. So you can get the data from this zip recruiter website. So their feed gets added into your job dashboard. Same with career builder, indeed, etc. Then you have application deadline. You can set the deadline and then remove the job listing. Another is simple paid listing. It is only limited for PayPal and Stripe for now. Same like WooCommerce paid listing. Then you have job tags add on. So you can specify the job with tags. Then import integration. So you can import listing using XML file, CSV file. Then job widget. So you can add the job listing on some of your other pages where you don't want job dashboard to be seen fully so after that there are a few more other add-ons that you can check okay so there are new add-ons added by other community members as well so this is a simple introduction to how to use WP Job Manager plugin to turn your blog or website into a job dashboard or you can say a job submission or job listings page.